Hey everybody, it's Sable, bringing you an energizing yoga flow for today's Live at Five session. May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and one of the things that I do for my mental health the most next to movement is getting outside. That's something as a coach and trainer I've offered to my clients over the last several years. We can train on my porch, I can meet people at parks, we try and stack our lives, right? If you're where we are, we're going on day two of straight rain and no sun. So for that reason, I'm feeling a little bit depleted. So I thought for today's yoga, we would try an energizing, revitalizing, all the Z's <laughs> flow to kind of get your energy back up and we can be grateful for all the rain and look forward to the sun that's on the forecast in the next few days. Are y'all ready? <laughs> And I do have some music today. And guess what? I do have the rights to this. So we're going to do more flowing in this session. Most things are going to be in a set of three. So if you miss one, try and jump in on the other two. We're going to start with mountain and forward fold. So let's inhale up. And fold it down. Start to connect to that breath. Flat back. And down, inhale all the way up, and down again, inhale up, take it down to forward fold, inhale up, one more, and this should take us about 30 minutes, exhale down, inhale up, Fold it down, and we're going to take a big reverse swan up, up to the ceiling, plug those fingers into the sky, and right here we're going to go ahead and step it back, straight right leg, crescent pose, breathe, step it up into chair, stay nice and low in your chair, and reach tall up into your mountain. Forward fold, flat back, take it down, big inhale up, step strong back into crescent, right leg still, stay low, find your chair, into the heels, biceps by the ears, And tall up into your mountain, reach fingertips into the sky. Fold it down. Inhale up, flat back. Fold it down. Here comes your last right lead with this side. Fingertips into the sky and mountain. And then we're gonna reach back into crescent. Clasp hands behind. Push that chest up. Find that power here. We're going to keep that left leg low, stepping up and folding into one-legged chair. So left leg is bent, right ankle across. Sink in. You should feel this open in the hip. Two and one. Foot down. Fingertips up into the sky. Forward fold, take it down. Walk it all the way back to the floor. Three sun salutations here. So that's all the way up into your up dog. Into your down dog. Walk those feet into the hands. You need to get two more from top to bottom. Here we go. And down. Flat back. Hands to floor, step it back, upward dog, downward dog, walk those feet in the hands, we have one more, fold it down, inhale up, last 
sun salutation here. Careful through your abdominal. Walk those feet of the hands. Big reach up into the ceiling. Fingertips to the sky. Left lean on crescent and chair. Here we go. Step it back. Left. Chair pose. Keep it low. Reach up tall. Forward forward. Hands down. Inhale all the way up. Left leg back again. This is number two. And in the chair. Keep it low. Reach up tall. Forward fold. Last sequence on this. Flat back, take it down, inhale up, step it back into crescent, clasping hands behind on this side, pushing that chest forward, heart to the sky, nice and strong, gather that power, and we're setting left leg across, into one legged chair with the right leg. I'm bringing my hands to heart center. Down and reach tall. Three sun salutations, forward fold. And lift and flat back. Hands down, walk it out. I'm walking up for number two, big reach up. And we're taking it down to the floor again. Inhale up into Upward Dog, guys. This is one that you might want to come back to again. Keep it in your pocket. Walk it up here so that you can practice this. And we are gonna take it into our warrior series here, okay? Warrior series. Inhale up, fingers up into the sky. Step back strong with our right lead. Here's your crescent pose. And again, I said we're gonna take the pace up a little bit today. Warrior one. Warrior two. Reverse the warrior. Get back. Here's warrior two. Back again, warrior one. Crescent. Step it up tall. Fold it down. Inhale up. Right lead again. Crescent. Warrior one. Y'all still with me out there? Warrior two. Reverse warrior. So if you missed it the first time, hopefully you're here with me on the second time. Warrior two. Warrior one. Crescent pose. Mountain, here we come. Reach. And down. We have one more time with the right lead. Inhale up. Right leg. Back in crescent. And warrior, one, two, fierce, three, here's two, and one, and crescent, and reach, forward fold, inhale up, 
Last time on the right, take it back. Here's one, two. Open the side of the body here. And two, and one, and up. Forward fold, you know what this is? Three sun salutations, down and up at your own pace here. Back. I'm starting number two right here. Walk it in. Third sun salutation. Join me here. Bring it up and in. Peel those fingertips all the way up. Warriors with the left lead. Here we go. Take it left leg. Here's warrior one. Three. Bring it back to two. One. Here we go. That was number one. Pull it down. Inhale up. Left leg goes back again. Find it. Here's one. Open it up again. Warrior one. Crescent pose, make sure you're breathing deep here. Even though we're moving faster. Roll it on up, reach. Last time with the left. We are one. And two. And three. And two. You know where we're headed. Stay there. And crescent pose. Step it up, here we go. Last time we're doing three sun salutations, okay? Down and back. Sorry, number three right here. I'm gonna stay quiet on this one. And downward dog. Now instead of walking in on your downward dog on your third salutation, roll it back into your plank pose. And we're gonna draw our left leg up. Okay, for a twist. Right hand stays down, left arm extends. Left hand center, reach it up. Crescent pose. And left elbow down. Twist the other way, I'm facing you now. Right arm is up. Side angle here. You can straighten that front leg if you like. Make it deeper, make your triangle bigger. And then we're 
and bend that front leg. Float into your warrior two. Straighten your front leg. Forward, shadow stretch. Hands to the floor, lengthen through your spine, hands to hips, strong up, turn those left toes forward, warrior two, warrior one, and crescent pose, and fold those hands down to the floor, take it back into one, up dog, down dog. Don't walk up, stay here, find your plank. Draw your right leg up. Nope, we just did right leg. We're gonna draw our left leg up. Right arm is going down into a twist. Dang it, guys, I don't know what leg I just did. My right leg is forward, my left leg is back. My right arm is up in the twist. Come center. Right arms coming up into that side twist on the other side. My right arm can come down as my right leg straightens, making that triangle bigger. We're going to float in to warrior two, open across the chest. Straighten that right leg. Turn it into a straddle stretch. Try and draw your elbows to your knees here. Lift, extend through your spine. Reach it tall. Turning right toes forward. Warrior two, warrior one, crescent pose, and we're going to walk that back down into sun salutation. So up, down, down, down. And this time we are walking all the way up and in, rolling up through our spine one vertebrae at a time. Shoulders roll back for three, for two, for one, hands to heart center. Take three deep breaths. I'm going to turn and face you for our balance poses. We're going to take tree pose. I'm going to start with my right foot. Right, I will remember this time around, right? If you can't reach up. Slowly release out of that. Left foot forward, sink into your right hip, reach hands toward your left ankle. So both feet are facing forward here. And lift. Steady yourself on your left leg, left with the right. Up if you can. Hopefully you're feeling new, fresh energy come in already. Clearing out some of that old 
some of that damp. Sink into your left hip here after you release that. Hands come to the right ankle. Shoulders again, we turn face the other way. Take a sun salutation all the way down to the floor. Lift and exhale down. Exhale up, walk it out. Upward dog, downward dog. Drive those heels down. Peel it back up into your plank pose. I'm going to take my left side down, right side I'm going to open into side plank rotation. Two, one, bring it back down. Still holding our plank pose. Right hand down, rotate into that side plank, left chest. Control it, center. Relax the knees down. Child's pose, pull those shoulders out long. We're gonna peel forward, upward dog. Downward dog. And we're gonna pull our right leg up into our chest and into a pigeon stretch. Sink into this, enjoy this moment. Lift it up. Upward dog, after you step it back. Let the first sound you hear Left leg up into pigeon. Focus down. here. Tucking right toes, left leg is going back. Lower yourself gently down. Take your left ear towards the floor. Lift it up, right ear towards the floor. One more time each side. This is such a simple thing, but it makes a difference in your neck. Knees wide, child's pose, round that spine. Pull it up here, hands underneath shoulders, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up. One more time, push it down. Stay here for me, extend your right arm, extend your left leg. And center, one more time. Left side, extend, right leg extend. Each way again. But this time, if you can reach around and grab that foot on the opposite side, opening your chest. Take it out. Other side, y'all. Okay. 
don't think you hear the words to this song, but it's be kind, have courage, treat yourself with dignity. If you don't look after you, who will? No one's going to do it for you. Let's shift around to seated position. Point those toes. Reach up tall. Fold it forward. And when the mind connects with the body, you guys, that's when the soul moves. That's when all the pieces of the puzzle will fit and everything is whole. You have one more time, flex the feet. One leg at a time, right leg out. Think a little deeper into the back of that leg. And we're gonna cross our left ankle on top of right knee, push it forward, chest towards shin. Big breath. Let's fold into a full stack. Dig a little deeper into the back of this leg. Relax the kneecap if you can. Right ankle on top of left knee. Push your chest towards your shin. Fold it down into a full stack right here. Stack it down. I want you to wake up, but you struggle and you sleep. Let's take that feet open here. Bottom of the feet together, knees wide. Shift your hip forward. Fold knees together. Carefully take yourself down. And we're going to reach up, arching through the hip, lengthening the hip flexors. Roll your shoulders back and down into the floor. Peel it down, hug the knees. We're going to do this three times. And down. Extend. Peel down, hug the knees. Peel down, last one, inhale up. Peel down, hug the knees. Give your knees rotations out. So pull them tight into your chest. Open out like a little frog. Hug them in, extend the legs. I'm gonna pull my right leg up and in, and twist over to the left side. Try to keep your right shoulder down. Bring that center, and down. Other side, pull my left knee up and into my chest. And twisting. Bringing that back in center. Relax that leg out. Palms open to the sky, relax your legs. Find any remaining ounce of tension. Release your tongue from the roof of your mouth.
when you're ready, you can come up to seated. Feel free to stay in Savasana for as long as you want this evening. If that's where you choose to go to bed tonight, you know, just tell your family to bring you a blanket. You stay there. Thank you for joining me for this week's Live at 5. Tune in next week. Namaste.